On November 26th, Randy hit the whole RuneScape community with a banger which was called the hidden runescape duplication glitch this video only came out about a few weeks ago and by the looks of the video if stuff wasn't fixed fast stuff could have gotten super bad and i'm talking about irreversible damage to the whole of the old school economy which is super important some people believe that it isn't trust me it is and if the glitch like i said that randy talked about in this video was not fixed quickly the game could have been ruined basically and now it's jan first the first day of the new year the new decade actually and it looks like there could have been something similar on a way 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 smaller scale but it is still kind of interesting and what we're going to be talking about today isn't any kind of duplication it's mostly just a big fault over at jagex's end but let me tell you this could have been bad because technically gold is still being spawned into the game with the whole issue we're talking about here and i mean yeah I, I must say here and now we're not talking about old school today we're going to be talking about eoc otherwise known as runescape 3. now that i've lost about 90 percent of you let's continue so what happened was yesterday or oh, about 24 hours ago 12 hours ago it was new year's eve right i get a twitter dm from somebody and this guy who i'm going to be keeping anonymous told me that eoc was having some kind of new year's eve festival promotion but this was a new kind of promotion i'm guessing and it was called a festival firework or firework festival something what's the name of this promotion anyway he told me that there was an issue with this new kind of promotion they're doing and the issue was if you were to just simply click off the promotion and click back onto the promotion the rewards that you can pick reset now this is a huge issue because there's different colors of rewards you can get and every time you open a key you get four rolls and those four rolls will give you four different loot boxes color loot boxes that you can click on to claim your reward and if you get lucky and you roll purple you're gonna get epic loot now maybe after me saying that you can understand the issue here so what people were doing was just clicking off and clicking on the promotion firework promotion until they rolled purple and at that point they click the purple box and they are basically guaranteed super good lootations every single time now with all of that being said that kind of seems bad right we're not even close to being done because if this was just the case and people were just able to get really good loot every time they open the key that's that seems bad busted broken maybe it should be fixed but it's nothing game changing the issue is that one of the loot you can get from this purple box is 200 mil gold and every time you get a box there's a chance you can get double triple or even quintuple if that's even how you say that word loot <laughs> so if you rolled money and you got four times instead of getting 200 mil you'll be getting 800 mil from one box roll and you know some people might say that's still not broken it's gonna be super rare you know even if you just keep getting purple all day to get the cash it's gonna be super rare anyway so that's not a big deal you're right that's that's correct but stuff doesn't stuff doesn't even end here. And before I continue, 800 mil EOC would be around 120 to maybe 150 mil old school, depending on who you are swapping. If you don't know what swapping is, it's basically when you give somebody money on EOC, they hop onto old school and give you old school money equivalent to how much EOC money you gave them. Or other way around, if you give them old school money, they'll hop on the EOC and give you the EOC equivalent of that. www.oak. Anyway, as I was saying, with this purple reward box that you can click on there is a slight chance you can get 200 mil gold now here is where stuff gets really interesting because with all of that being said there was a method in which you got unlimited keys so with everything i just said people were able to do this without spending a single penny in game in real life zero because people were able to only get purple reward they were able to self-sustain themselves with unlimited keys because every time you roll off purple there's an option where you can disenchant whatever you got to get 1000 oddments and if you go to the oddments store one key only equals 400 50 augments so what this basically means is people had unlimited keys to keep rolling purple all day long once people unlocked all of the lucky items they would only get stackable skilling supplies or 
raw 200 mil gold to maybe up to 800 mil with whatever multiplier you received so all day people were stacking up on stackable skilling supplies and every once in a while they'd just get a free 200 mil generated completely for free because you don't have to spend in-game money to do this you don't have to spend real life money because you are self-sustaining yourself with unlimited keys this lasted for a couple of hours the guy i was talking to said he was watching his friend do this for two hours he even said he did this for a bit he got a bunch of stackable skilling supplies and i looked on reddit and people were saying they you know talking about people making one to two bill raw cash and god knows how many stackable skilling supplies they got on top of that and that's damn but yeah let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below it's your boy oak peace out